Courtney and Ryan here, back with your weekly Money Minutes. Cheers. We're out in Soho this morning, starting our week off with some coffee. Not the worst thing in the world. And so if we smoke cigarettes, it'd be perfect, just like casually smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Everything you say would be more profound. I guess. And not, neither of us smoke, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to start today. <laughs> Now, we're sitting here right after two recent milestones that happened actually just last week. So first and foremost, it's just, we just had 10 years since the Lehman Brothers went bankrupt, which is a really big turning point. Everyone thought the financial services were just end of the world, basically. Yeah, it's apocalypse now, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I lived um, it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but same time last week also, markets hit all new highs right at the same time, which is pretty interesting if you ask me. Yeah, it's like a decade later, um, and all of a sudden, it's we're in a completely different world than we were 10 years ago. And you know, recently, we saw a lot of these articles come out about these hedge fund managers who shorted the market. There was a movie called The Big Short, yep. um, and all these managers made all this money, and it sounded so sexy. But since that time, all these managers actually end up losing all this money over the last decade because the market's gone straight up and they've made all the wrong bets since. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, one of the big hedge fund managers who famously made $20 billion by shorting the stock markets back in 2008 has actually been nothing but had negative returns over the past four years when the yeah. markets have gone straight up. And it really is just such an interesting thing to look at and know that is not what reality is like. You're not going to make huge money in the markets by betting against them or vice versa. You need to make sure you have a plan in place that's going to work no matter whether the stock markets are doing well or they're not. The media yeah. loves to highlight these one-off uh, situations, but it's just not realistic. Yeah, I mean, the, the honest truth is planning and investing is not sexy. Uh, look at Warren Buffett. He's the, one of the wealthiest Americans. Mm -hmm. He sits and he owns things long term. Yep. and he compounds his money, and that's really the only sure way to make money over time. It's a very boring, unexciting way to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Now, click on the link below because it really is going to come down to goal planning for you guys, and we can really help you figure out how should you be invested and make sure that you are going to work out whether the markets are doing well or they're not. You need to have a foolproof plan in place regardless. Yeah, we have a great planning tool. You can check it out. Um, we can help you put together a plan that's for the long term, not as sexy as the big short, but we'll get you to your goals. And if you want our weekly timely, enthralling, that's a pretty good adjective, <laughs> uh, weekly content, you can click the moneyminutes.com button, subscribe. That's this week's Money Minutes. As always, be, be bullish. bullish.